people often ask me, what exactly do you do? Knowing that a factual resume would be a bit overwhelming, I often reply, it's complicated, in the hope I can narrow down the conversation to something more simple. This is me, in 1985, aged 17, walking across an American communications base. This is me in 2015, aged 47, almost 30 years to the month later, trying to arrest a cabinet outside Downing Street. In between I did many strange and exciting things. I was given the label of rambling activist in the peace movement during the 1980s. I used countryside access rights as a campaign tool and the name rambling activist followed on the heels of that work. Significant. And it was only when Paul rang us up and said, what about this American base here? And at that, he was a rambler. He was looking at his maps, I think. And the first time we went, actually, when I heard it was a rambler, I keep saying that every time I imagine this Tweedy person. <laughs> and no, it wasn't a Tweedy person. It was Paul with his shock of hair and everything. And it was great. And we had a really good walk through the footpath here. It was, yeah, it was very good. My interest in using the law as campaign tactic began there, and expanded into other areas of environmental law too. By the 1990s, I was using it as a campaign tool to help communities across Britain battle ecological destruction. I began working full-time as a researcher and activist for hire in 1991. For the last 30 years, I've had a wonderful experience working with community groups across Britain and occasionally beyond. Paul Mobbs does most of his activist work by computer. He says the environmental movement is being revolutionised by the internet. These people often never meet. They're in different countries. Uh, they probably will never ever talk to each other in real life. They communicate via the net and send messages and exchange ideas. And what is the significance? The significance of that is you can not only develop a campaign in your hometown, for example, as you would do traditionally, people who have a similar problem across an area, across a country, or across the whole world can get together and work in a way they were never able to before. I mean, this is the whole... My Rambling Activist YouTube channel is an extension to my work as a researcher, documenting the ecological struggle from the bottom up. The videos on the channel, often complemented by the written materials on my website, seek to examine the troublesome and often difficult meanings behind today's news and events, rather than simply repeating the conventional wisdom of the mass or social media. I've been using video as a means of communication since the 1980s. What I seek to convey in these videos is not so much raw information as a view of the world seen through my eyes. Some videos have no commentary and merely show you what I was seeing at the time. Others are formally scripted. Rarely though will you ever see me in one of my videos. That's because, quite literally, you're seeing the world through my eyes. And in that situation, how often do you ever see yourself? In the last decade though, the nature of what I do has changed, radically. The forces driving that change in my work are what I now seek to document in my future research. Ever since I was a child, I have walked, foraged and camped in the countryside. That experience has always informed my work. Now it is clear that the 1970s debate on ecological limits was correct and that human resource consumption will face imminent physical limits. I find that experience to become more relevant than ever as a means to offer people a way out of the double bind of our modern existence. Of course what I will say in these videos will be disturbing to some and unwelcome to many others. That is the reality of where we are today. Everything has become so big and complicated that it's easy to give up and ignore the problems right in front of you. But how long do you think you can get away with that? And yes, reality is difficult to avoid precisely because change is difficult. What I hope I can do in these videos is introduce you to the basics of what you need to think about to begin adapting to a future of seemingly unwelcome change in a straightforward way. If there's a solution to our present problems that is not to be found in yet more technology, that just compounds the problems of systemic complexity that plagues human society and stops real change taking place. If a reliable solution is to be found by most people, then it is by living a simpler life, working with natural systems to provide for our basic needs. And the best way you can start to do that right away is by spending more time outdoors. 
and disconnecting from the distractions of the modern day world that prevent you from appreciating the simple necessities of life. Please subscribe to my channel and perhaps follow me on social media. And maybe, somewhere amongst the information I circulate, you'll be able to find something that will help you make sense of this clearly mad but astoundingly beautiful world.